Hello, it's Rex from DIY Audio. I show you today the EPX3 V2 uh, laboratory power supply. Uh, here you can see the first uh, prototype of this uh, power supply. This prototype is now uh, nearly to be finished and uh, uh, only uh, front and rear panel Lexan uh, are missing. Uh, many tests uh, has been done uh, on this unit and uh, I've tested also uh, all the functionality uh, I've described it in a, in, a, in the thread uh, on the DIY audio uh, forum and today I want to show you uh, how the PSU work exactly and uh, how uh, we can use it I, I switch it on First you can see the the free channel uh, indicate uh, zero because uh, the second toggle switch here uh, is uh, disabled and uh, when the, this switch is uh, in disable mode all output voltage uh, is uh, off and uh, to, to, to have a secure, uh, secure functionality uh, when uh, we need to disconnect uh, all voltage uh, from uh, our device under test. If uh, we want to enable uh, all output voltage, we switch it on, and now you you can see uh, the first channel is set to six volt, and uh, uh, you have a load on uh, this uh, channel of uh, two ohm uh, power resistor of uh, two ohm uh, one hundred watt. You can see uh, here and here uh, this uh, two uh, multimeter is connected in uh, series and parallel. This one allows to see the output current, nearly 3 amp, and the output voltage. Okay, you can see the voltage is the same, okay, from a few millivolts. The second channel is set to 12 volt, and the third to 20 volt is set to the maximum uh, output voltage value. Uh, first, we can see the uh, minimum output voltage. Because it's an interesting feature that the power supply can the power supply can be set from very near to zero volt in practical use about 100 millivolt. But here you can see that I display a nearly zero volt. Okay, uh, that can be useful for for some some use to to have very low voltage value. Uh, another thing, uh, all uh, setting. Uh, of the power supply, voltage and current setting uh, are uh, stored in a EEPROM as soon uh, I switch it off and uh, all uh, value uh, uh, I write back in, a, in the internal system as soon I switch it on again. Uh, you can see if uh, I change the value from uh, 12 to 15 for example this channel like if I want, I can change all channel. But I set to 16 and 6.6 .6 on the third, and I switch all out. I switch off the PSU from the rear uh, toggle switch, the main switch, and I switch it on again. And you can you can see I, I recover the the last value, uh, the last used value. Okay. So. Uh, I can describe shortly uh, what is the function of uh, each uh, LED and uh, button. For each channel you have uh, the two output bananas well of course to connect your load. A uh, digital rotary encoder uh, uh, that uh, this rotary encoder allows to set the output voltage value and the output limit current. A three digit display to display voltage here you, you see the display and the, the current. I can display the current only using a, a short push on the encoder and here I see the, the current, the output current. Of course I, I, I see zero milliamp because uh, no load are connected but uh, on the first channel I, I can try to, to read the current because a load is connected and uh, I can see on, on the fluke 2.88 uh, amp 
and here I, I, I measure 2.99 amp okay there is a, a small error on the output current measurement because the output current is directly measured from the the current uh, mirror signal from the LT uh, 3081 and uh, you, you have a you have a small and large amount of error of uh, the current measurement uh, depending uh, on the measurement point uh, but for a power supply uh, it's a good indication and uh, it's, uh, it's acceptable okay I can back uh, you can see also this LED is orange when I measure the output current but if I come back to voltage measurement mode this LED is green okay it's a mean to see if I if uh, at this time I, I, I look the output voltage or the output current that avoid any confusion okay the, the, the upper LED uh, green when I uh, show voltage orange when I show current okay and at the same time when, when you when you are in a voltage uh, reading mode the encoder allows to set the voltage if you are in a reading current the encoder allowed to set the current okay uh, I can explain also the, the lower LED uh, this LED allowed to show if I'm in a constant voltage or constant current mode uh, of course you can show uh, 6 volt and 2 ohm at the output so you have nearly 3 amp at the output I'm in a voltage mode uh, but if I change if I change the the output current limit for for example I can try to to make a lower current limit for 2 amp for example and the 2 amp with 2 ohm I can only get uh, 4 volt okay and so I'm not I, I, I can't I can't have a constant voltage mode I'm all I'm only in constant current mode so uh, I change the current the maximum output current of the PSU and I, as soon I reach uh, a, a, a current setting that don't allow the voltage to be constant the lower LED become orange also to say I'm not in voltage but I'm in current mode okay I set the limit to 2 amp for example okay up uh, 1.99 uh, my flux say 1.99 uh, 96 I back to voltage display mode and of course with 2 amp at the output and 2 ohm uh, the, the output voltage is only 4 volt and can be 6 volt as uh, my setting is uh, and uh, the uh, lower LED as you can see is orange saying you are in constant current if I disconnect the load, the output voltage uh, become now uh, 6 volt as my setting is and uh, I back to uh, constant voltage mode <coughs> sorry so uh, I can uh, also try to show you uh, the some so a special functionality of the PSU uh, you it is possible to connect two or three outputs in parallel to increase the output current of the PSU uh, the first toggle switch here enables the tracking mode of the channel 2 and as soon you toggle it on like this okay of course uh, the output current I disconnected a lot before you can see now the voltage of each channel is same because I track the channel 2 tracks the channel 1 and if I change the voltage of channel 1 the channel 2 follow it okay and the two LED of this channel start to, bl to blink as soon the, mo the slave mode is enabled if I disable it I back to the previous uh, settings of this channel and of course the LED uh, are not blinking anymore okay uh, I back to, to slave mode I if I want to uh, get the maximum output current with this PSU 
uh, I can accumulate uh, each current by connecting uh, the free output in parallel and uh, so it is possible to get 20 volt with 9 output current, 9 uh, amp output current instead of only 3. Uh, so you need to uh, set the slave mode of the third channel. To do that you need to push for about a one second the push button of the encoder of channel 3 and you see the message slave on very shortly only uh, 5500 milliseconds about and now the channel 2 and the channel 3 are in tracking mode and the, the channel 1 drive also this channel okay I can set the output voltage with only one knob now. I can set it for example to 10 volt. It is uh, very important to, 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 uh, to have a, a functionality that allow a single adjustment of the output voltage in, uh, in parallel mode because uh, you need to have a good current sharing and the uh, output voltage must be strictly the same okay uh, so it is also important in tracking mode uh, when you have all output in parallel or two output in parallel to use a uh, wire length the same between uh, the output and your load uh, you if you use uh, one meter of wire between uh, uh, this this output and your load you need to do the same for all three output yeah, the output resistance must be same uh, so uh, this ensure a good uh, current sharing between each channel and it is the condition to get the maximum output current okay so uh, I have made the MIDI test and uh, we can get to 20 volt with 9 amp without any problem of course, it is possible to use the tracking mode when you use the free output in series to get a 60 volt with a free amp. Okay, and in the series configuration, there is no problem with uh, uh, current sharing. Okay. Uh, now I disable the tracking mode of the second and the third channel. And I show you uh, how we can uh, enable or disable the beep, the small beep function the, c that you hear when uh, you turn right or left the uh, on digital encoder. If I push this push button, beep off, and now you don't hear it anymore. I push it again, beep on, and now the beep is back. Okay, you can also uh, push for one second the first encoder, and now it is possible to measure the internal temperature of the enclosure. Uh, this is a temperature temperature measured by uh, digital uh, EC and uh, used to control the fan speed and uh, to protect uh, the PSU uh, in case of uh, over temperature. Okay, you have a uh, two uh, different uh, temperature measurement uh, each uh, epx 3 v 2 reg uh, regulator or combo regulator board uh, have its own uh, thermal shutdown uh, uh, coming from the LT 3081 uh, temperature sensor uh, to avoid uh, T junction temperature uh, to be reached and you have also a digital temperature sensor inside uh, on the main board uh, to protect from uh, internal case uh, over temperature and uh, if you have a problem of uh, air circulation. Uh, so uh, until uh, uh, the internal temperature is uh, uh, 40 degrees, uh, the fan is uh, don't turn and uh, from 30 to 60 degree the fan uh, the fan speed is controlled to 20% uh, to 100% of its uh, full speed okay uh, that's a low, no noise uh, no noise from the fan if uh, you need a very low power and uh, noise is controlled by uh, internal temperature 
if the internal temperature uh, uh, rise up to 70 degree so uh, you have a thermal shutdown all output is disabled and you you have the red the lead the upper lead become red okay saying uh, there is a thermal shutdown and of course all outputs are disabled until the internal temperature back to uh, 50 degree okay so it's a small uh, and short presentation of the PSU, how it works. Uh, of course, uh, you can uh, follow the the full thread of the PSU to to see uh, much information about how it works, and you can find many documents uh, about the PSU, uh, like schematics, mechanical, uh, and many other things. Of course, uh, all uh, question about this is welcomed. And uh, maybe someone have already uh, said that I, I have opened a wiki page with, to organize a group buy. Uh, this group buy will will concern only uh, some part of the PSU, the printed circuit board, donc all the printed circuit boards, the, the main board, the free combo regulator boards, the front panel uh, board, and uh, the lexan of the front and rear panel and also the six uh, regulator uh, EC from linear technology the LT3081 and uh, from uh, today uh, uh, we have uh, 10 DIYers uh, that want to uh, to try uh, to build this unit to and uh, I wait uh, about uh, 25, uh, uh, 25 DIYers to 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 reach uh, a number that allowing uh, a good uh, good price for for all this uh, all this part. So uh, I hope that uh, you will enjoy of this uh, small demonstration, and you will excuse me, of course, uh, for my very bad English. Bye.